Did you know that Ben Ben Chapter 6 is coming out before Chapter 5? Or is it? Will Chapter 5 be the prequel to the series? Well, I believe I have the answers for all those questions and more. So make sure to stay until the very end because that is where it gets super interesting. All right, let's get into it. So the situation is really weird because the developers basically skipped Chapter 5 completely and are advertising Chapter 6 already. Maybe they have like some sort of beef or something with number 5. I don't know, maybe like... They they got bullied by some kid with a jersey with a number five on it or something in school, you know, and now they hate the number five. <laughs> so they decided to skip it all together. <laughs> but now, because chapter five is not advertised at all, people think that chapter six is coming out before chapter five. But why not call the thing that will be in chapter six, chapter five? Just like, you know, if, if chapter six came out before chapter five, just call it chapter five and, and also advertise chapter six. Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Just, just call the thing chapter five, bro. <laughs> why skip chapter five? completely. Well, let's go through all of the evidence that we have for each case truly and make a conclusion. But before we do, you already know, subscribe to my channel! With every subscriber we go stronger and stronger and soon we will take over YouTube! So if you want to be a part of history, subscribe. Alright, let's get into the evidence. So let's talk about chapter 6 first and what we know about it. So basically this is the Steam page for chapter 6 and there is a little video that they posted uh, which is basically Queen Bounce Celia laying on the ground and her pouch is moving. And there's probably going to be something that's coming out of it. And then it says Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 5. And then it adds a little thing like six. Never mind, it's not five, it's six. Wish list on Steam. This is really weird. Like, uh, for some for some reason, it's at first it shows five. That's like trembling a little bit, right? And then it's like six, not five, six. So they made this decision like consciously. So yeah, the first thing we see is something coming out of Queen Bound Celia's pouch in chapter six. And in chapter four, it was basically already coming out. She laughed and it was like, oh no, the naughty ones are coming. So it was supposed to come out in four. And then for some reason, it's coming out in six so keep that in mind it's very interesting next thing is there is also a picture of well there's a bunch of pictures it's the same thing but it's like closer closer and closer so we're walking towards this wall and this wall was basically covered up and behind it is a bunch of monsters and it, it looks like somebody broke through the wall so before it was covered up who covered it up and why basically like somebody trying to get rid of the monsters that way <laughs> spoiler alert it didn't work just covering up a picture of the monsters is not gonna save you bro but it looks like, yeah, the ba basically the turtle slash chameleon person, the jester, the syringion, and the T-Rex, kitty Rex, whatever his name is, the freaking, the cat dog person. Even though it looks like a fox more than a cat, but we also see Zolfius here. This guy, this big dude. And I wonder if we're gonna be introduced to Zolfius in this chapter. Like, are we gonna find out more about his story? Like, is he good? Is he bad? Like, I feel like he's a good guy, right? Because he doesn't really do anything, and even Ban Ban said that that he's like one of the nicest guys like when he was trying to give him the imposter the little toy that he had uh but instead instead the nab nab jumped out at him but anyways he was giving it to zolfius this guy which is there is a theory that it's basically one of the parents of the kids that was turned into a monster and it's very like very good basically so it's one of the good monsters but it can't talk or speak or do anything well, it'll be really interesting if we're actually introduced to this character in this chapter. Also, there is Syringion. So, are we gonna be introduced to Syringion in chapter 6? Because we saw him in the secret room, and I also believe that he operated on all those toys, so it'll be really interesting to see if we actually see Syringion in chapter 6, because he would probably be, like, operating on people, right? Or can he talk? What is he even? He's like a hammerhead shark, part hammerhead shark, part surgeon or something? It's some, like, of some of the very interesting details about all of this. And Another interesting part about all of this is basically that there is a bunch of notes, like musical notes. What are those used for? Is that Zolfius singing? Because he's the only one with his mouth like open like that. And it looks like it's coming out of his mouth. So does he like have the power of singing and like that somehow does something? That would be pretty interesting, right? Because Stinger Flynn has the power of telekinesis. He can like send you to like a different universe and stuff. And this guy, can you imagine if he like sings and something happens? Maybe you get like teleported somewhere or, or you start dreaming about something too or or maybe that's how he communicates his thoughts to you that's that would be really interesting right and last but not least the cover for the chapter shows us the jester which is all which is also in the in the picture so i feel like jester is gonna play a big role in chapter six but i wonder how much of a role is he gonna be good is he gonna be helping us or is he gonna be trying to kill us also because it looks like he did not no 
know that the, the naughty ones are gonna escape from the pouch. So it would be really interesting to see if the Jester is actually good or bad. Is he gonna be like a good guy or a bad guy? You know, because all he wanted ever was just to make some good jokes and that's it. He didn't really want to kill anybody. But the most important thing that I think is that chapter 6 is gonna be the final chapter of Garden of Bandmate. Because we are going to the negative 5th level of the of the kindergarten. And we know that because the sheriff said that, oh, the elevator can only go down, so we're going down one more level. If down there alive, we need to find the queen's scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. And the kids are on level negative five, so we're gonna finally find our kids. Which I keep on forgetting that we're actually looking for kids, man. I will be a horrible parent, honestly. Like, I keep on forgetting that I'm looking for my missing child. I'm just, like, running around having fun, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we're probably gonna find our children there. Because the Steam page also says, Uncover the truth behind the place and find the whereabouts of your missing child. So we're gonna find the missing child in, in chapter 6. And with the main bad, the naughty ones, out of the bag, well, literally out of the bag, <laughs> we're gonna face our worst monster yet, I feel like. The thing that was basically contained, and that's gonna be the culmination of everything and the thing that we're gonna have to fight, basically. So now to the question of will it come out before chapter 5? Well, based on what I just said, I don't think so. I think chapter 5 is gonna be before chapter 6 because chapter 6 is the final chapter it is when we're gonna see all of this stuff happen but that leaves us with the question what's gonna be in chapter 5 right well let's get into that right now so chapter 5 I believe is actually gonna be a prequel to all of them and I have the steam page to support it all let's go to the steam page for chapter 5 so chapter 5 right off the bat is basically looks very weird honestly in all these pictures this is basically chapter 1 one, right like this is the ball pit this is the appeal bird station and this is the first picture we ever saw of the gang and yeah this is basically literally all of it is chapter one but it with a weird red haze on it right it looks like really scary and creepy and also there's an alien looking looking creature in the shadows and beside that there's uh we see the whiteboard it says meet a friend day um with a pila bird on it which we saw a pila bird in the first chapter right and this is the other this is the same room that we were inside like the, the first chapter room and all of this basically shows us that the setting is gonna be in the first level like uh floor one of the kindergarten right where we start out and that kind of points us to it being a prequel and what about this alien looking guy well i think this could be like like what Zolfius looked like before or it could be something else but if it's a prequel maybe this is what Zolfius was before he fell into Galvanium like when the little Apila bird fell into Galvanium she became huge right and this thing imagine this is Zolfius he fell into Galvanium and became from that he became what he is right now which is like looks a, a bit similar to this thing but a little different that's a that's an interesting theory to think about and another thing is that the naughty ones are only introduced in chapter 6 and they're already out by chapter Chapter 4 so where does that leave chapter 5 right that means chapter 5 is gonna be like before everything else now to the very interesting part what is all this red haze that we see right like this is the most obvious thing about this thing everything is chapter 1 but a red haze looking thing right well it's poppy gas like in poppy playtime no I'm kidding man honestly but I wouldn't put it past them honestly because they literally put choo choo charles in the game and what's one more reference right and especially that big of a one like freaking poppy playtime that yeah that's really interesting too right <laughs> but yeah i don't think it is that but really could it be like some other kind of gas that put the kids to sleep and that's how they basically took him out like that maybe or maybe we are gonna be playing as one of the monsters like syringion or ban ban and we would see everything through their vision so basically it's gonna be like all red and messed up you know because we already played as stinger flynn in chapter two or four Three. I think, no, chapter three, yeah. Was it two or three? I think it was chapter three, yeah. In chapter three, we played as Stinger Flynn and basically everything was super like weird looking through his eyes, right? So that would be, that kind of makes sense, right? If we get to play as Ban Ban or Syringion maybe in this chapter and everything would be like a red haze and stuff. But who will it be? Will it be Syringion, Ban Ban or maybe Zolfius? But I don't think it's gonna be Zolfius because Zolfius is gonna probably gonna be the green creature. Or maybe not, maybe the green creature is something else. 
else who knows and will we even see syringiana in chapter five because of the stitches uh, probably we might be able to see like how he operated on the toys right they wouldn't put that on there just in just because right like the freaking uh the stitches on everybody's back right that's definitely syringian's work and they're probably gonna introduce him in either chapter five or six but i feel like chapter five we might even be playing as syringian because that would be really in interesting ben ben not really because ben ben's already on the wall and syringian yeah he seems like a person that would be like one of the original toys that was created so in conclusion i think that chapters five and six will come out in order first chapter five then chapter six but chapter five is gonna be a prequel and chapter six is gonna be the final chapter of all unless they want to make some more money and they're gonna probably make another chapter seven eight nine whatever how many times they want to do it but i feel like chapter six would be a really good place to end it right but yeah in chapter five we're probably gonna be playing as one of the monsters most likely syringia so let me know down in the comments what you guys think what you think is the most probable thing out of all of these like uh theories so yeah that's it if you really enjoyed my videos please make sure to leave a like and subscribe my name is oshi and peace out bye